13 different resources you have to check out if you have an online business, starting with this one, meshgradient.in. What I like about this is I can go into the colors here, I can either add my own color hex codes or I can grab some here that I like and I can start generating randomizing until I find something I'm happy with. I save it either as an image right there or I can change this to whatever I want to use. For example, I want something for a background. I go into Figma, which is number two, and then I go in here, set it right there, and I can make it lighter, I can make it darker by adding the, or changing the background color, and you can pretty much customize it however you want. So now you get a background that is pretty minimalistic and it's not too distracting, and then you can just literally go in here and you can randomize, download more of these, and you get that consistent for all of the sections that you wanna use a background image in. This one, number three, Gradienta. I like this one because it has a lot of like, you can download JPEG or CSS if you wanna add it straight to your page builder. But you can drag it in here. You can either do the same thing. Let's do, sorry, uh, image, let's do 50 or 30. This one, the fill, we wanna have 100. But the image itself, you can, for example, 10. And now you see we have that slightly outfaded image in the background. Fourth is the plugins in Figma. So for example, one of the reasons I love Figma is I can build so many different cool like graphics before opening click funnels, before adding them into whatever page builder that you're using. One reason I love it is because I can just click this, right click, and do plugin, iconify, and I can type in literally whatever I want. So let's say I wanna use something like this, drag it in, make it bigger, and then I can change the color of this as well in selection color, All right? So boom. I can also present my funnels beautifully. So grab a screenshot of them. You can present it by adding funnel design, whatever it is that you do. If you're, if you're a freelancer, agency owner, any of that, you can use. There's a lot of things you can do with uh, Figma. Here's another example. Like I build funnels for a living for clients. And so here's a mood board, a part of it. The only piece I wanna share with you in this video for privacy reasons, but I can share this and say, like, which one do you like the most? And then from there, we have a, a good mood board to build from. And obviously you wanna have images and, and all of the other parts that go into that mood board, but it's a good tool for literally everything. Another thing, for an example, these are individual images from a site called Smart Mockups, which is the next one in this, this video. What I like to do is I go into all mockups and I go into desktop first. So let's say I wanna use this, then I go into laptops. I want laptops, for an example, on the sides. I go isolated, I want this and this. And then I go into screen layers, isolated and I want, let's say I want something on each side of the, the main one. And if I wanna build something, for example, like this, which could be like a course bundle. We have the course, we have the private training, you have the spreadsheets and the tool, the workbooks and everything. And you can piece it all together inside of Figma. But I love using smart mockups as a beginning, as a foundation, and then I build everything out in Figma. That's sort of like the Lego, the puzzles. So next one, Jotform. The, the reason I love Jotform, because I use Jotform and Typeform, is because of the card form templates. And yes, there's a free plan. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with Jotform. But I like these because it's like, ask question, yes, next one, yes. Which image do you like more? I love this branding more. Which font? I love this one. And it's super quick for people to, to go through like an application if you, if you have application for your business or if you need a quiz or something, survey. I use this because I can customize everything. I'm not saying you can't that on job form, but I use this because I want the experience to be like this for, for my clients. So, okay, start the onboarding form. What's your full name? What's your company name? Add your website or funnel link, social media. What's a few styles that you like? Upload your files in here, your guidelines, your brand book, your logo. And I have everything in one place. So when I build funnels for my clients, I, we don't have to go back and forth. I have everything in one place. So I highly recommend you start using that if you build funnels or any, any freelancing that you do for clients. Even if you're a coach, you wanna onboard clients correctly, you can do that. So now speaking of funnels, here's a few platforms I've never shared on this channel ever because I only talk about what I use and that's, you know, that's been ClickFunnels. And yes, in the past five years ago, I've used Squarespace, WordPress, Wix, all of these things. 
But one day I was think I was sitting there, I was thinking, why don't I test out a few of these other platforms? Like for example, System, Symbly, Kick Pages. Like I've had actually all of these CEOs, the founders, reach out to me personally, which I appreciate. Right? And I've even even had Zoom calls with two of these founders. And same thing with ClickFunnels. I love when people reach out and they want to talk to me and they want to talk to the community, hear what people are saying. Like I have 500 funnel agency owners in a private group who are paid members in my course. So they want to get that feedback. They want to see how, how can they serve. And one way that system have been helping people is by having a free plan. Not everyone can afford 97 or 297 a month. And so system has a free plan, contacts, sales funnels, blog, course, same thing with Symbali, but their plan is it's not free, but it's very affordable. And so we got websites, funnels, CRM, and uh, emails like uh, it's supposed to be an all in one. And uh, kick pages too is uh, kind of like a click funnels competitor. But uh, I've heard great things about it. I love the the people there. You can do landing pages, membership site, sales funnels and websites. And uh, yeah, what I like about an open market is that people compete against each other, especially like softwares, and it forces people to become better at their craft and building their their platform. So I like it as a independent. I'm not platform dependent with any of these. So that is the page builders brand push. This is the next one. This is for people who want to have, uh, you know, maybe they have a new launch or they have a new book or something. They want to get the word out to more people for full transparency. I haven't tried brand push. But what it does is it can get you out to 200 influential news sites for like 195. So you're probably paying for distribution 229, 259 if they write and publish. 229 also, they will write your article, right? And so you can get it out to more people. Um, GT metrics, I use this for, for my clients. You can also use it for audits when you audit someone's website funnel. You can use this to see if they have fast load speed. I remember the owner of Simvali, he reached out and he uh, he was very proud of their load speed. So let's test it. And so that was one of his things is like, we're f the fastest in the marketplace. I should probably do a separate video about like ClickFunnels versus system, kick pages and Simvali. Let me know if you want to see that, like a four Web, uh, website slash funnel builder comparison video. Uh, I could build out the same funnel in all of them. We could test it. That would be pretty cool. So look at this 99%. That's crazy good. If you compare this to ClickFunnels 1.0, this one is going to be much better. I think with ClickFunnels 2.0, it's going to be close to this. Maybe not 99, but it might be for some pages, depending on the content on the page. So, but GT metrics, I use that for load speed optimization. Then we got many pixels gallery for illustrations and icons. And what I like about both of these, you can go to styles and you can click the style that you want to use. So icons, look at how clean that is versus something more flat, pun intended. Same thing here. You can choose the colors that you want and then choose category and then type. Actually, you don't want too many different ones. You want something that's consistent throughout the page. And then what you want to do is you want to start compiling these together in a spreadsheet like I've done here. I, I share this with uh, all my course members, but I started creating it for myself. Why? So that you can have everything in one place, kind of like your vault and I have a, a separate vault with all of the, the funnels. There's like 30 or 40 funnels that again, available in full funnel designer, because I put it together for myself first, a vault of funnel design inspiration, the fonts that we want to use, the graphics, where do we find all of these uh, things? So start creating that for your own business and your life is going to be much better with all these resources. You have it in one place. You can easily go there and find them as you're building your websites, your funnels and your online business. If you like this video, make sure you like the video. If you um, if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe with the post notifications on so you never miss anything. I'll see you in the next one.